Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. Every year, millions of women in this country deal with a health issue that's shrouded in confusion, concern, and discomfort. Hot flashes, memory problems, and mood swings are the hallmarks of menopause, and the women who face these symptoms often do so without the information they need from their doctor. In fact, according to a survey from the Mayo Clinic, less than 10% of OBGYNs feel adequately trained in menopausal health. We're here to um, help us sort out fact from fiction, as it were, our entrepreneur, Monica Molinar, and OBGYN, Dr. Sharon Malone. Thank you both for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thanks for having us. Monica, tell us a bit about yourself, and I understand that you faced a challenging health crisis when you turned 40. Uh, Tell us a little bit about that as well. Yeah, when I was 39, I found out that I had the breast cancer gene, and at 40, I chose to have my ovaries surgically removed to avoid ovarian cancer and reduce my risk of breast cancer. But what happened was it sent me into surgical menopause overnight. I was totally caught off guard without answers to help manage the symptoms that came on immediately. And honestly, I didn't get a good night of sleep for six months and gain 20 pounds, which by that point I had just about had it. But finding a doctor who had the time and knowledge to give me thorough answers on what to do to feel better was really hard. It took me five years and five doctors to simplify things and get me back to feeling like myself. And I was in the lucky position of knowing exactly what the problem was that I was trying to solve. But for most women, they start to experience these symptoms without realizing that what's happening is a natural physical process that 100% of women will go through, and it can be extremely disorienting and scary. And what I discovered is that Women's post-reproductive health is really relegated to the shadows, and so is the actual study of menopausal health. So when you're dealing with symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats, sleeplessness, sexual dysfunction, anxiety, depression, the list really goes on. It takes effort and strength even just to ask the questions of your doctor, and we're so often met with unsatisfactory answers from the medical industry that really isn't providing us the agency to make an informed decision about the actual risks versus rewards of proper treatment. Doctor, what's the problem? Why are women having such issues finding knowledgeable professionals or solutions for their menopausal symptoms? Well, you know, there are many reasons that, reasons that women are not getting the care that they need. But the two main reasons are, number one, we really have an excess problem. You know, there are over 50 million women of menopausal age in the United States, and another 6,000 women join the ranks every single day. And there are just simply not enough doctors out there who are trained in or or even interested in treating menopausal women. Um, And you heard that figure, only about 10 to 20 percent of OBGYNs feel comfortable treating menopause. So you can imagine once you get outside the field of OBGYN, those numbers are even uh, less than that. And there is also contributing to the problem. Uh, number two, there was a study that was done over 20 years ago that was not only poorly designed to answer many of the questions that we had about menopausal treatment, but the results were misinterpreted as well. Hmm. And this has led to a generation of doctors who have grown up in the era of this, in the shadow of this study, which are sort of trying to get out there and mi- leading the uh, misinformation as far as women are concerned. And unfortunately, the net result of this is that there's a generation of women who have suffered needlessly from the 30-plus symptoms of menopause, who knew there were so many, right? Mm -hmm. But they include hot flashes, sleeplessness, brain fog, and those are the most familiar. Um, But they've been scared away from the most effective treatment for menopausal symptoms, which is hormone therapy. I heard you mention a lack of interest in the field among professionals. Um, what are your thoughts on maybe the reasons for that? You know, I, I, there is a, I, and I said that may be a little bit harsh, but I understand this because I've been doing this for over 30 years. Mm-hmm. And to take, to discuss menopause, what women are going through and treatments, it requires one, that you have an interest in it, it takes a long time because it is not just a yes or no sort of answer in a one-stop shopping. You have to really assess what women, women's individual risk factors are, what their goals are for menopausal therapy, and that takes time. Mm-hmm. And I think in today's world where you kind of you get in, you've got 15 minutes to do everything, it, um, it, it takes up more time than uh, – most doctors are willing to give it. And that's the unfortunate reality of medicine in, you know, in the 21st century. 
Monica, I heard you mention five years before finding some solutions. <laughs> what did you decide to do uh, based on your experience, based on your problems? Well, I was really inspired to make sure that other women didn't have to go through the same, um, you know, slog that I went through mm -hmm. uh, to to feel normal and feel get get back to myself. Um, so through my experience, I realized that there had to be a better way to manage this time of life. And I approached my friend, Ann Fullen Wider, who at the time was the editor in chief of Mary Claire magazine, and I convinced her to quit our job, quit her job, um, and work with me to change the story and the narrative for women over 40 and give them a better, um, you know, provide a better experience for them, starting with the fact that women our age just aren't getting effective health care and they need the help from the inside out. So we started a health company called Alloy Women's Health. And along with Dr. Malone, we're giving women the agency and evidence-based solutions that they need to feel better and start to enjoy the prime of their lives. 100% of women will experience menopause. What steps can women take initially and over 40 to kind of prepare themselves for, for what's coming? Well, women need first and foremost education and information about the signs and symptoms of the, this normal process that every one, woman will go through at menopause. And I think the one thing that they don't realize is that the symptoms uh, of menopause can appear four to seven years, even before they've had the last period. So the time to start thinking about it is not at 50, but really in their 40s. And what would you say, doctor, uh, are the two major takeaways that you want uh, listeners to, to understand about the menopausal treatment? Well, first, women need, to, need access to doctors who are trained in menopausal care. And secondly, I would really want women to know that if they are experiencing the bothersome symptoms of menopause, you don't have to suffer. I mean, menopause is mandatory. Suffering is optional. And that is really what our mission is at Alloy, sort of pure and simple. We want to provide information, access to menopause-trained doctors, and FDA-approved hormone treatment delivered directly to your door. So I would encourage women to learn more about menopause and what treatment options might be right for them by going to our website, myalloy.com, and that's M-Y-A-L-L-O-Y.com. I appreciate both of you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for this information, uh, Monica Molinar and Dr. Sharon Malone. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download to SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.